If you haven't tried out Microsoft Designer, you definitely should. It's a new AI tool that will let you edit the text. I know, usually, so when you get any text to image like AI generator, it will give you kind of like this gobbledygook that I got from Midjourney, which actually does a great job of images, but text, not so much. I don't even know what's going on. So then I have to like use the magic erase tool, trace it, try to get rid of it, and then replace it with my own text versus Microsoft Designer actually has text that you can edit, you can change the font, you can change the colors, you can like put it in a new place. It's like, it's almost like it has layers in it. So I'm gonna show you how to use that. It's mostly, I think, just for social media posts. Don't quote me on that, but that seems to be the kind of images it kicks out right now. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create pretty pages using Adobe InDesign and using Canva and lately using AI tools. I have not been able to stop using, trying out different AI tools this whole month, which has pretty much been all the videos for this channel lately, but I'm sure we'll get to Adobe InDesign at some point again in the future. But let's check out a, a Microsoft Designer, which is free, so don't worry. Right now, they're not charging anything, but it's Microsoft. I don't think I've ever seen a free Microsoft product, so it's possible that they'll end up charging for it, so you might as well try it out now. Step one is to sign up for an account, which you can do over here at the top right. I will leave a link to this website below. Uh, try Designer for free, and you do have to have a Microsoft account. So this is a little weird if you are like me and you've never used one. I have a corporate Microsoft account for my day job. That did not work. You actually have to sign up for a Microsoft Microsoft account. You don't have to pay for it, but you have to sign up just like you would for Gmail. Uh, so that is, if you've never used Microsoft like me, that might be something you need to do just to get started. Uh, so that's step one. Um, and it, I have a second link just in case you get on the wait list. Uh, I have a second link for that. All right. So here are some examples that it has created already. And if you hover over these, here's what uh, the task, the text was, the prompt that created these images that you see in case there's one you like. But we're just gonna create an image. We're gonna say, we're gonna say an Instagram post about my pretty planner. And we're just gonna hit generate. Now I would not suggest hitting generate image. Uh, it actually didn't do a good job. It was just kind of like scary stuff. Um, so, if I don't, do you reckon, I recognize this woman from stock photos. I don't know if anyone else does. I, it's possible I've been creeping around stock photos too much, but um, it doesn't really matter what you pick because it's going to give you the option to change your mind. Now you can also hit generate and it will just shuffle it through and come up with either the same or a whole new set of 15 images for you as well. Uh, so maybe I really like this. Maybe I want to advertise a digital planner. So I'm just going to say customized design. And over here, I can change my mind again and say, oh, actually, I like this. This just looks a little better. And now once I'm in here, I can change this text too. It's so kind of masculine. Maybe I don't really like it. That looks a little better. Um, and you can just try all of these out. Now it's grouped them for you too. They have display fonts. Um, they have fun. I think we were already in friendly. They have handwritten retro sans script so this works just like canva if not better um and then obviously see all styles uh but you can pick out any sort of font that you want and then you can go ahead and you could also say whoops where was i you could say inspire me and you could just let it pick it for you and just kind of rotate through different things uh, different fonts that you want it to kind of try out instead of you having to search around on your own. Now, over here, this also works just like Canva. You can come over here and you can add some visuals. So maybe this is a planner. I want to add a cupcake because I just like cupcakes and they bring me lots of happiness and I feel like maybe they'll bring other people happiness too. Um, so we could go ahead and add this purple cupcake over down here. Now this purple cupcake, I, I don't really want that purple background. I could just say remove background and then it will become a transparent image. And now it's just kind of sitting out there. How easy is that? Uh, so what else do I want? What else makes me happy? Uh, ice cream. Ice cream makes me very happy. So I know you're like, is this a food planner? I mean, it could be a food planner. I don't know, um, let's say I like this one over here and same thing, I'm just gonna ask it to remove the background so it kind of just melts right into there. 
And yeah, so uh, this is honestly just like my new favorite tool for everything, uh, social media. And if you have your own colors, uh, or your clients colors, you can just go ahead and build them in here. So you wouldn't have to look up all those colors or their fonts or anything else. They'll just be in here and ready to go for you. So visuals works just like Canva. Um, just lots of images you can choose from. You can split it into photos, graphics, uh, it even does video for you. Um, you could also ask it to generate, Again, the generator is not the greatest that's built inside of here. That happens. You could upload your own logos to here as well. You can pull it from your device, your phone, Google, Photos, Dropbox. So I have one here that I've uploaded and now I can just kind of drop it in and I can resize it and put it anywhere I want. I always like putting my logo inside coffee. I don't know if that's normal or if that's a thing, um, but that's what I like doing. Uh, so that's, so obviously I'm not really sure about that color, so I could change that with any of these filters. How nice is that? Uh, so again, love this tool. It's so fun. Uh, and over here for templates, if you don't like this t layout over here, you can choose a different layout. Um, for anything else, this obviously would change my entire design, but, um, you can see how easy it is to use. It's basically just like Canva, uh, except it has, um, the ability to just do the layouts for you without you having to look around. And all I did right there was hit control Z. Now, when you're ready, all you have to do is download this and you can do it PNG, JPEG, or a PDF. Um, and then you can also, uh, just go ahead and post it to your social media. So it's also a scheduling tool. You can just, it'll just schedule for you. So super excited. I hope you try this out. Um, if anything, it should just save you a little bit of time. All right. That's all I have for you today. And yes, I cannot stop using uh, AI tools. I really like them. So if I find other things that I think are useful for you and helping to create and sell and market your planners, I will add those as well.